if you're the kind of person that sees a $100 bill on the floor and won't pick it up because it's quote unquote too dirty, if you're the kind of person that buys a $5,000 gaming PC just to buy Minecraft, then you're definitely in the right place because this video is for just absolute ballers and collectors too, I guess. But today we're going to be looking at the top five most expensive Cyclops action figures, or I should say Marvel Legends out in the market right now. And let me clarify, I think for the last few videos or the last couple of weeks, I've been very negative on the channel. And I have to say, I'm not really liking it. I, I, I wanted to take a step back from, you know, covering anything that's happening out in the action figure news world. So I'm not going to be doing any of that. At least, you know, I'll take a little bit of a break. I'll do some top tens or some top fives, I should say, and just kind of clear my mind, be a little bit more positive because it seems like for the last few weeks, I've just been bashing OMs nonstop and just being a total boomer for no reason. Like I just complain about everything and anything under the sun so like i said i'm going to try to be a little bit more positive and in today's video we're definitely not talking about something that's necessarily like inherently positive because it is a list that discusses the most ridiculously overpriced marvel legends action figures but it's always nice and always fun to see how especially nowadays with like the deadpool a universe crossing over to the mcu and then you have uh, a lot of like for example the new animated or i should say the rebooted x-men animated uh series right around the corner it seems like a lot of these figures are going to potentially go up in price and value so it's just kind of fun and interesting to see how uh, the figures are affected by all of this stuff happening around so let's get straight into it let's not waste any more breath and like i said hopefully you guys enjoy the change of pace no negativity here only positivity let me know down below if you guys have any of these action figures or if you plan on picking any of these up thank you guys so much for tuning in let's get straight into number five where we have the marvel legends toy biz sentinel build a figure wave cyclops and obviously it should go without saying but the sentinel build a figure piece obviously adds a lot to the value of the figure especially if you're buying it brand new and i know i've said this before but i'll reiterate it i know the new sentinel has definitely made the original toy biz sentinel drop quite a bit in value not an insane amount but still a noticeable number we did see quite an uptick in the original toy biz sentinels being sold i'm assuming because a lot of people had already pre-ordered the hasbro uh, iteration of this action figure regardless this particular cyclops held one of the top spots for this particular character for a long stretch of time a lot of people consider this to be like the pinnacle for a few years until better technology came along but regardless it definitely deserves to be on today's list if you would like a brand new one in at least very good condition you're probably looking to pay roughly like really high 50s or mid 60s depending on the seller obviously if you're looking for one that is open but in really good condition you're still gonna have to pay about 30 dollars. so honestly you're better off just buying a new one unless you really don't care about that sentinel build a figure piece but still a figure worth picking up if you're somebody that's really into the toy biz era marvel legends let's move on to the fourth spot and i kind of double dipped here because we're going to go with the cyclops variant for number five which is just basically a different paint job to make him look like he's the x-factor version it's the exact same figure Gear just with a different paint job this one is usually more coveted by the collector community however in terms of value it's very similar to our fifth spot like i said it's just valued a little bit more by the uh by the collector community because it is a little bit harder to come by but people overall i think in terms of value probably prefer the original paint job or the original figure but because the figures are basically identical in price and they're essentially the same figure except with different paint jobs and they still both have the same uh, sentinel build a figure piece i decided to throw this one in the fourth spot like i said very similar in pricing you're looking at about like high 50s to low 60s for a brand new one in really good condition if you're looking for a used one i've seen these as low as like high 20s to like maybe mid 20s depending on the condition but if you're looking for one that's really good i'd say it's probably closer to higher 20s so that's our fourth spot let's move on to the third spot on today's list where we have the marvel legends animated series cyclops or as a lot of people like to refer to him as the vhs cyclops he definitely comes in one of the best packages that i think hasbro has ever come up with i know i've mentioned this in a previous video 
but this was around the time when Hasbro wanted to make their package or their plastic free packaging available. And I think this was like a very slick way of doing it. In most cases, I would be against it, but the VHS boxes were a thing of just absolute genius. They were able to pull off the plastic free packaging without angering all of their consumer base. Now, if you're looking for one of these brand new in really good condition from, you clearly want a reputable seller here because as I said, there's no plastic. You can't actually see inside of the packaging or inside of the box. So if you're looking for one that's in really good condition, you'll probably be paying somewhat similar to our previous spots around like 50 55 to about 65 like mid 60s what's crazy with this particular figure is that the opened versions or sellers that are actually willing to open their figure and pose it around and play with it you get about the same amount i think i've seen some for like very high 40s to low 50s or even like closer to 60s that's crazy to think that the figure basically goes for the same amount open or unopened as i said the the opened one maybe goes for a little bit less maybe like 10 bucks but it's not really that big of a difference and i go i think that goes to tell you how little trust there is in the community there are a lot of people that feel a little bit sketchy about buying this figure online from third-party retailers and that really shows with uh the prices for this particular figure let's move on to the second spot on today's list where we have the marvel legends cyclops which is a part of the jubilee build a figure wave and in turn is also a toys r us exclusive this was released all the way back in 2014 and even though we did receive a newer version of jubilee a lot of people still want to complete that build a figure because it is one of the core members or at least one of the fan favorites there's a little bit of a cult following behind this character so there are quite a few collectors going after this particular figure this particular wave as a whole the prices for this figure brand new have just absolutely skyrocketed in recent times for the most part you're looking to pay about 80 to 90 dollars for one that is brand new in really good condition even the opened ones with all of the accessories are they're still going for about 50 dollars strong so just keep that in mind if you're really interested in this figure and i will say there's definitely a, a huge nostalgia factor especially for anything that was toys r us exclusive because of the store going away here in the u.s i feel like that is just kind of like another added value to the figure it was already going up in value but i think like i said the fact that there are no more toys r us here in the u.s or at least not to the extent that there were before i think that's definitely just going to continue to add value uh, to this particular figure but anyways enough saliva has been spilled for today let's look at the top spot for today's list where we have the 2016 marvel legends cyclops this is supposed to be a part of that warlock build a figure now this was definitely a really tough number one for me because there are a few listings or outliers that are going for much, much less than, say, your second or third spot on today's list. But I wanted to put it on the top spot because I feel like it holds just a little bit more value. And there have been quite a few sales online for upwards of $100. So if you take the span of like a, you know, a few months or even a year, I think this particular figure has definitely held way more value than any of the other figures on today's list. People just absolutely love this uniform. They love the figure. They think it's like the standard for today's modern day Cyclops, even though I feel like some of the newer ones might eventually knock it out. For the time being, this is considered the best cyclops out there and therefore easily deserves the top spot on today's list so there you guys have it i didn't want to ramble on i didn't want to make the video far too long because i i tend to do that from time to time but there you guys have it it's a, it's a quick top five of one of my favorite x-men characters and i felt like it was only fitting that we would do uh this particular character especially with the animated uh, reboot right around the corner so as always if you guys enjoyed the video guys can always hit the like button subscribe let me know your thoughts down below do you own any of these figures do you plan on buying any of these thank you guys for tuning in and stay safe out there